guys that have stuck with me. We're building subscribers fast. Uh, we're almost to 500. I've only had this channel for 50 days. So thanks everybody that's made that possible. Um, I want to give a special shout out to Buckeye Bassin TV. Uh, what's up, man? You're my boy. Ingle Trap and Co. Coffee Outdoors. Linkless Tennessee T TV Adventures. Um, Chip on it. What about being outdoors? Dimensions Sports and Outdoors. Steve Digman. What's up, buddy? Lonely Den Trapping. Um, thanks for your advice. Thanks for a great channel. Subscribe to him. SAP Fishing. Chris Gilliam Man Stuff Channel. Todd's Backwoods Living. Boxy's Outdoor Adventures. Reaper Militia Outdoors. Um, just want to say Merry Christmas and subscribe to these guys. They're my, they're my boys. Been there for a minute. So, channel's growing fast. I'm going to get this all set up. And uh, show you how I'm going to set this snare up. Snare. I already see where I'm going to put the snare. That's a no-brainer. <coughs> and, uh... I'm going to show you how I set this up, guys. Here's this trail coming through. I can only use snares. So if you look, there's the spot right there. So. So here's my funnel down. Got that brushed up. Good. Now we just need to cover this up a bit. That's about 11 inches. That's good. Um, and that's usually how I set. I got it air tankered in. And it's about 11 inch loop. Direct line of path. We'll see what happens. Thanks guys, Merry Christmas. And there's the finished product. I just spruced it up a little bit. There's that trail, and there's the walkthrough. And, uh, yeah, so. Well, if I don't catch anything, just wanna wish you guys a Merry Christmas once again. Happy New Year's. Um, so what they're doing is, this guy said I can't use foot traps, so. They're running down this path. So what they're doing is, is they're running down this path between this trail and a construction site. So the guy doesn't want me using foot traps, so I'm dropping snares in, hoping I don't catch a deer. And uh, you know, I want to keep it kind of open and I want it to look as natural as possible. Um, I'm only setting about 
10 inches, 10 inch loop. So um, I put a little overhang so the deer lifts its head and the coyote ducks. Hoping that works. Um, I just know deer use this trail too and it kind of concerns me so but uh there's a lot of coyote tracks in here though i'll tell you what so i'm going to show you guys what they're doing so this used to be the farmland that i used to trap growing up it's the farm that i lived on so i kind of know how the coyotes are around here and as they urbanize the area they're just shifting so this is what they're doing now they follow this trail between the path and the construction zone and then you got your power lines right here and where they've stopped the construction so they run along that bridge it's low ground it's kind of covery and then you can see the trail real faint and they cross over and boom follow this all the way down so you know just kind of watch them see what the coyotes are doing learn their behavior and uh adjust with them merry christmas everybody